Hi everyone. So in this video, I'll be sharing exactly why a lot of cake business owners, especially if you're a home baker or a small bakery shop owner, will never make money no matter what you're doing. And this is why. Because of the niche segment you're choosing to do business in. So I've talked in another video about exactly what a niche segment is. This is basically when you find um, a specific type of product to sell to specific type of people, right? Like whether you're doing budget cakes or luxury wedding cakes, something like that. So the reason why I'm saying that uh, most bakers will never make money from it, and since I'm talking to mainly home bakers or small bakery shop owners, you just need to realize that some niche segments are just not profitable at all. The reason being they are requiring a lot of mass production for you to actually make any type of money. So what kind of niche segments are these? For example, commercial bread production. I will literally find that home bakers are trying to sell bread and compete with other bread makers and they don't wonder why they're not making money, right? Another example that a lot of people might have seen people do is cheap economized bake snacks or like block cakes, buns, maybe you're trying to do little cookies that are very cheap. The reason why that is never going to work for you especially is because for that type of niche to really make sense for you, you need a lot of production. You need to be making like a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand units per day right? And most of the time, the reason that is, is because a lot of those products, because they're for a specific type of market, like a budget market, there is a specific set price for that kind of product, right? So if like, if you're in Kenya, bread is between 50 and 60 shillings, right? Unless you're entering a gourmet bakery, which is not what I'm talking about here. Most times you cannot sell bread, like the 400 gram loaf at a um, hundred shillings, right? You have to go change the size for it to be higher. So most of these uh, cheaper, more economized products have a specific rate. Like for example, if you're looking at um, these local shops and you're trying to buy like a cupcake, most of these cupcakes are like 10 shillings at the most 20, but 10 shillings. Now for a regular cake that is tasting good without economization or anything like that, that cupcake is going to be 50 to 80 shillings to make it. So you need to realize that sometimes it's just not possible for you to make money in a specific niche segment. Yet a lot of home bake or a lot of um, small bakery shop owners are insisting on working in that particular pro, um, segment and that's what causes a problem, right? So I'm talking about home bakers and small bar bakery shop owners here who are insisting on doing a lot of these products and you can't make it. So remember, if you need to um, sell Mark, uh, products that are that are really driven by market price, like bread, cheap products, you have to be a medium to large enterprise. That means you're going to have the capacity, like you're going to have tons of ovens where you're going to be able to do that. You're going to be able to mass produce, which means you're going to be making thousands of units per day. So that means you can make, whether it's five shilling profit per piece or whatever. The other thing is that you're going to have enough labor and staff to be able to produce those bulk kind of um, uh, production that you need, those bulk quantities that you need to actually get there. So if you're not a medium to large enterprise, please stop getting into the niche of like commercial bread and cheap things. It won't work. And I find bakers saying it does work. That just tells me you haven't done your costing and your pricing. Because if you sit down and you do your costing and your pricing, you will find that that doesn't work. And I'm not saying this just by, you know, something I've pulled out of my head. I tried doing this once. And I've shared this story before. I used to sell buns, 12 buns in a packet, and I used to sell them for 50 shillings. And then the, 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 the person would sell and make 10 shillings, right? When I finally sat down and did the costing, actual costing of exactly how much it was costing me, it was costing me 120 shillings to make that packet. And I was selling it at 50 shillings, which means for every packet, I was losing 60 shillings. At one point, I was like distributing 20 packets a day which means I was making a loss of like 1,200 per day, basically giving away stuff. So if you really want to know the truth, you need volumes, you need capital, and you need a lot of equipment. So if you're pushing this cheap economized um, niche, or you're trying to push commercial production, and you're a small baker, a small scale baker, like a home baker or whatever, just it won't work. Stop trying to do it. Okay, look for a niche that's profitable for you and your size of business that's going to work. 
So I hope this has helped you guys. If you're trying to be in this niche, please comment below. If you think this has helped you, please comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next time. And I just want to mention to you guys, I do have a free um, ultimate 10 step guide to a profitable business. It's a free guide. Just check the link below and you can check it out and I hope it helps you. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. And make sure to watch the next video that's coming up.